so in this video i'll discuss about the most efficient way to use your gate scorecard and if you are someone who are not sure to write a gate or not then you should see the part one video here there i have discussed about how gate is too difficult and again it's not so difficult also so in this video we will see some of the cutoffs and again cutoffs are not like they are your bible or gita like they are true cutoff are just to give you some estimation but each year the scenario of the selection keep on changing so you don't think like if somewhere cutoff is 700 and you are in 699 you won't be getting a chance it is a very dynamic thing and it keep on changing year by year and this year the EC paper marks are also going down so obviously the cutoff will also go down and we will discuss about other consequences like in a VLSI electrical people can also apply EC people can also apply so will it harm the EC people because electrical people have higher marks this time Hi new people, I am Razdeep, your big brother, currently working as CAD engineer at Intel and I have done my MTech from IIT Delhi. So the last part of this video, I have given an idea about how to decide on the preference list for all those MTech seats which are available. So don't miss out on the last part. So my dear, if you got a rank less than 300, then congratulations, you are for sure will get a core VLSI branch in old and IITs, right? but for all other people we need to find out something alternatives so in this video i will mostly discuss about the aligned vlsi branches which don't have vlsi in their name but they promise you the exactly same opportunity as core VLSI branch offer and yes for sure there are few differences between a aligned VLSI branches and a core VLSI branches the people who are in core VLSI branch for them they just need to finish their core syllabus of that mtech and after that they are good to go for placement but again that also don't guarantee you placement because i have seen many from core VLSI branches still unemployed so they also need to study but for people who are in aligned vlsi branches for them they need cover their mtech syllabus and after that they need to do something extra and our main issue is of our obsession for the vlsi branches we think that if any branch don't have vlsi in it then that branch is of outless or that branch will be fetch me some mediocre job for example, a branch which is control and automation, it is there in all the IITs. You may think getting into control and automation it's not so cool because I won't get some good jobs as core VLSI people will get. But my dear, control and automation promise you some futuristic job like you can work on any robotics firm any drone manufacturing firm and you know how drone is the future and also in aerospace defense sector and yes you can also be placed in core vlsi jobs like the company which make chips for that you need to do some extra things we'll discuss little later if you are finding my content helpful then why don't you say youtube to spread it to many more people and how you'll do it by liking this video please like it so see this is the cutoff for iit delhi uh, this first column is for general people and then it is follows like for those who have ews and OB, obc and uh, sc and st so we will consider only the general people so see uh, this is the core vlsi branch in iit delhi and core vlsi branch what is the cutoff it is 900 and 900 is roughly 70 to 75 marks out of 100 and it is tough right but again see the same opportunity same opportunity how i know because i did my mtech from that branch and that is your rfdt which is come under this one it is not under electrical department it is under center for applied research in electronics and here you can see what is the cutoff it is 727 for a general people and it is still little higher because in last year we don't had any interview right but if fortunately this year they conduct interview or in future for sure again interview will resume then this cutoff will go more below because if there is an interview then the low gate score people have all the opportunity because like all other exam gate is also not 
not a perfect exam which will tell you the exact skill you have only at that day if you have performed you will get a great rank and if you just underperform then you will have a less marks but in interview you could impress your professor that you know the thing and in rftt and the core vlsi branch in iit delhi have the same opportunity and during our time the people from rftt got placed quicker like in first day than the core vlsi branch i am not comparing this thing but just that it have the equal opportunity many of ec guys this year are a little bit demotivated because overall gate score are lower why because any people from other department for example instrumentation or electrical department they have higher overall marks than a ec people so they are thinking like in vlsi branch if all those three people apply then as the electrical and instrumentation guy has the higher gate score than a electronics guy those two people will get the preference but it is absolutely wrong thing because see here in this branch for example integrated electronics we have separate cutoff for each branches and here ph is means your physics so see from a physics people also can apply with a 450 gate score and if it is like who ever have a higher gate score will get the seat then this people from physics won't be getting any seat right so from this we can roughly say that inside any branch they have their own reservation like how many seat will be filled up by a electrical guy by a electronics guy or by a physics guy i am not sure definitely i am not 100% sure but this is the methodology they follow and then in iit delhi we have many other options also this jop this opto electronics and here also you see is 715 and we have more opportunities like you can take computer technology see it's only 740 then you can go for communication engineering also doing a communication engineer you can also be placed in vlsi job for sure and then we have another good branch and that is jtm in iit delhi and it is here see jtm and here we have only 670 the thing is that as specified earlier with align branches you need to do some extra courses from the vlsi branches and in all the iits and i think in nits also they allow you to do those courses as open electives and then this is for our iit bombay and in iit bombay let's see what's the cutoff for the integrated circuit and it's see it's 9 12 again same as iit delhi but in the same case we have the same opportunity in this branch also and that is your solid state device see it is 7 12 only and solid state device is a branch from where if you want to work on backend on foundry job like tsmc or umc global foundry then this branch is like gold mine man solid state devices but many people just ignore that and they go for the core vlsi branch only i have seen many of my friends who have scored similar to this then also they are going for nit and bits to do their mtech i know those options are also very good but the opportunity exposure you will get from iit or iisc and the brand value of iit is unmatchable so if you are getting a chance to do your masters from iit then that should be the most prior thing for you not like i'm getting a code vlsi branch in nit tirchi for example and i am getting a solid state device in iit bombay or care in iit delhi then i won't do it because i want to go for the core vlsi branch don't do this mistake please don't do this mistake and in iit bombay we have another wonderful opportunity and that is three year mtech you just need to put your one year extra but that mtech is called RA research assistance but that three year mtech is wonderful in my team in intel i have few people who did their RA from iit bombay and the most amazing thing of RA is that up to 2000 sometime 3000 rank also for general people they call for interview because in selection procedure they have a three hour exam 
again like it's like a gate second gate and after that three hour exam they will give some weightage to your old gate score but that three hour exam have a large chunk of weightage and after that they again prepare the rank list and from there they will take your interview or nowadays they won't take interview but they will take your lab exam like they will tell you to choose one lab and you can go to that lab and they'll give you some question like we did in our lab exam in BTEC and you need to solve that thing in that lab exam and after that they might take interview and then they will prepare the final rank list and you will get the opportunity to do, do your MTEC from IIT Bombay but see up to 2000 sometimes 3000 rank people also getting a call and how you will get a call only and if only you apply for it so the main objective of this video is to let you know that please apply as much as you can for example in iit bombay if you have a 5 10 gate score then you are eligible to apply in all the electronics branches 5 10 only you are eligible to apply you won't be getting a chance but you are eligible to apply then who is forcing you to not to apply to apply any places you need some amount of money and some amount of time so why don't you apply please apply getting a seat is secondary but you need to apply to as many position as you can if your gate score are not so high so let me show you more example this is for iit guwahati see this rff and photonics is a great branch you could go to vlsi chip making company to other core branches and what you need you need only 624 marks and 624 marks roughly 55 to 56 marks or maybe less than that and you may ask you are saying these branches are so good then why the cutoffs are so low because 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 we don't know we are not informed about those branches we go for old NIT new NIT to get the core VLSI branch tag but we just ignore these branches and again there is another opportunity and that is for if you have very low gate score like you only score something around 30 to 40 marks okay and you are from general not in a reserve category and your cgpa are good they are more than eight then you can go for ms my dear and doing a ms from old nit promise you the same opportunity that only con or the disadvantage of ms is that in ms you need to spend three year or sometime more than that if we are not sincere but i have seen many people finish it within two year only and for your information let me show you the ms cutoff of iit delhi 600 and for few of the iits it is way less than that also so now question is that we have many opportunity but how to fix our priority like where to go first you need to apply everywhere but then if you get two three offer then which one you should choose so before that let me clear one thing all the iit means top 10 or 12 iits all the nit means top 5 to 6 nits so our preference should be seat of old iits in vlsi branch or vsd or in any aligned branch not only electrical go to each and every department every school because in iit you have seen we have uh, opto electronics or something and these are coming from some other department or school we have rfdt care and it is coming from a center so you need to see the throughout the seats not only in electrical branches uh, this is our first priority second priority is your core vlsi branches in nit in old nit in old nit don't go for align branches try to go for core vlsi branches only in old nits and after that preference three would be ms from old iits or core vlsi branches from new iits if you go for new iit don't choose any align branches only go for the core vlsi branches so i hope three preferences are clear and we will apply for all of the three because all the iits and nits they have their independent selection procedure and inside the iit also for example you are applying in iit delhi in electrical department and also in some center like for 
एग्जाम्पल के आर एंड द सिलेक्शन प्रोसीड्योर बिटवीन इलेक्ट्रिकल डिपार्टमेंट एंड के आर विल बी इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ इच अदर लाइक यू ओन बी रिक्वायर टू गिव एनी प्रेफरेंस लाइक शुड आई पुट के आर हायर देन इलेक्ट्रिकल डिपार्टमेंट और वाइसा वर्सा एन ई एस इन साइड अ डिपार्टमेंट फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन इलेक्ट्रिकल वी हैव फोर ब्रांचेस फॉर एग्जाम्पल देन इन दैट फोर ब्रांचेस यू नीड टू गिव द प्रेफरेंस एल सो हुई मीन इन फर्स्ट डे ऑफ रिजल्ट यू माइट बी गेटिंग फोर टू फाइव सीट्स इन वन गो एंड इट्स यू हु विल डिसाइड ऑन हुई वन यू विल सिलेक्ट एंड हुई अदर यू विल रिजेक्ट सो इन पार्ट थ्री ऑफ दिस वीडियो आर डिस्कस अबाउट सम मोर हैक you can increase your chances of converting your gate scorecard into a mtech seat or an ms seat third part will be releasing on tomorrow that is sunday so till then ask your question in comment box and if you haven't subscribe my channel subscribe it i'll see you tomorrow bye bye